Hey guys, this is Rich here from Rich TV Live, and there's some news that's just flowing all over the industry today, and a lot of it has to do with Golden Leaf Holdings. So here is the first, first of all, Golden Leaf Holdings has been halted. Okay, now here is one of three press releases that have come out today. TerraTech Corp and Golden Leaf Holdings Limited sign non-binding letter of intent to merge. Combined company to control 41 permits across cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, and retail spanning Oregon, California, and Nevada, in addition to 21 pending permit applications in multiple jurisdictions throughout the United States. This news from Irving, California and Toronto today, November 5th, 2018 from Globe Newswire, Teratech on the OTCQX TRTC, Teratech or the company Vertically Integrated Cannabis Focused Agricultural Company today announced that on November 2nd, 2018, it signed a non-binding letter of intent, an LOI, to merge with Golden Leaf Holdings Limited, otherwise known as GLH on the Canadian Securities Exchange GLDFF on the OTCQB, otherwise known as Golden Leaf, a cannabis company with cultivation, production, and retail operations built around recognized brands. Under the terms of the letter of intent, a wholly owned subsidiary of Teratech will amalgamate with Golden Leaf, with the resulting amalgamated corporation being a wholly owned subsidiary of Teratech. Consummation of the transaction is subject to a number of conditions, including entering into a mutually agreed definitive agreement, arrangement agreement, complete completion of due diligence and waiting period for the Hart Scott Rodino Act, state and local regulatory approvals, approval by the Ontario courts, Teratech board approval. It's a lot of things that need to go right. Golden Leaf receiving a positive fairness opinion, Canadian Securities Exchange the CSE approval, and Golden Leaf shareholder and board approval. Whoa. The LOI provides Golden Leaf shareholders will be entitled to receive 0.1203 common shares of Teratech for each common share of Golden Leaf held. The exchange ratio. Teratech currently has 79.2 million shares outstanding as a condition of closing. Teratech will be required to list its shares on the CSC. Listing will be subject to satisfying all the CSE's requirements. Upon closing, Derek Peterson will remain in his position as CEO with William Simpson to become president of the combined company. All references to currency are in U.S. dollars unless otherwise indicated. There is no assurance that the transaction will be consummated on the terms outlined above or at all. Interesting. Derek Peterson, CEO of Teratech, commented, As new participants enter the cannabis industry, the market is undergoing rapid consolidation. The companies that are vertically integrated with strong brands and multi-jurisdictional -jurisdic operations are best situated to achieve scale and retain market-leading positions. We are planning to merge with Golden Leaf's operations because its seat-to-sale business model is complementary to ours, encompassing both the Oregon and Canadian market, which represents new markets for us and touching Nevada, where we are focused on gaining market share. Its Chalice Farms retail dispensaries are well known and have an excellent reputation in Oregon. And the wholesale side of the business offers diverse, high quality cannabis products for all demographics, which are complementary to our existing wholesale product lines. This transaction, if completed, will create a combined company that will control 41 permits across cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, and retail spanning Oregon, California, and Nevada, in addition to 21 pending permit applications in multiple jurisdictions throughout the United States. William Simpson, CEO of Golden Leaf, commented, Golden Leaf is dedicated to building a shareholder value, and we are pleased to have the opportunity to combine forces with Teratech and establish vertically integrated Cannabis operated with a presence in multiple states and, most importantly, a proven reputation with loyal customer base. We are excited at the prospect of significantly expanding our size and reach through this merger and believe that the combined company will improve our growth trajectory and enable us to benefit from several operational synergies that will improve the running of our business. What do you think about this news? That was the first news that came out. Teratech TRTC partnering with 
global golden leaf holdings. So then came the second bit of news. This news just kept coming. Golden Leaf Holdings launches Golden Fruit Trues in Nevada. Golden Leaf or the company, GLH, in Canada, GLDFF, in America, a cannabis company with cultivation, production, and retail operations built around recognized brands, today announced the launch of its edible product line of cannabis-infused fruit chews to the Nevada market under the Golden brand. In Nevada, the company currently sells a range of ethanol extract distillate oils distillate blends under the golden private stash rso go and jackpot brands currently our products are sold wholesale in approximately 40 percent of dispensaries in nevada wow the company's fruit chews were launched in oregon in march 2018 under the golden brand with resounding success launching its nevada Launching in Nevada is a natural extension in the company's strategy to complement its existing offers of extract product. Fruit Chews aim to help the company's customers to balance life's highs and lows. The four bold Fruit Chews being introduced feature clean cannabis distillate and real fruit and restorative ingredients, ingredients as follows. Tangerine with maca root and bee complex, tropical fruit with chamomile and passion flower, kiwi strawberry with vitamin D3 and bee complex, acai berry with acai berry antioxidant, goji berry antioxidant, and elderberry antioxidant. Our launch in Oregon resonated well with our customers. We are expanding on that and offering the same consistent, wholesome line of edibles to our Nevada customers. The cannabis market continues to grow and the population of cannabis consumers continues to expand. This continues to be an opportunity to engage and connect with our customers who prefer to consume cannabis through non-smoking methods, says William Simpson, CEO of Golden Leaf Holdings. So this news keeps flowing and then came out another piece of news. Golden Leaf Holdings reports fiscal third quarter 2018 results. So Golden Leaf Holdings Limited, GLH in Canada, GLDFF in America, a cannabis company with cultivation production and retail operations built around recognized brands, today announced financial results for the fiscal third quarter ended September 30, 2018. Let's go. Recent business and fiscal highlights. Record quarterly revenues of $5.1 million in Q3 2018 compared to U.S. $3.1 million for Q3 2017. That is a massive increase. Acquired Canadian sales license from Health Canada via Medical Marijuana Group, MMG, its Canadian subsidiary. Hired Jeff Yap as Chief Marketing and Sales Officer. Subsequent events. Announced non-binding non letter of intent to merge with Terra Tech Corp., which I just read to you guys. <laughs> Told you guys, these smaller companies are going to get acquired. Announced launch of Golden Fruit Chews into the Nevada market. <laughs> acquired cultivation license for its Bald Peak Oregon facility from the Oregon Liquor Control Commission. <laughs> Introduced new green apple flavor CBD infused fruit chews. Fruit chews into the Oregon market, which I brought you guys first. Mr. William Simpson, Chief Executive Officer of Golden Leaf Holdings, commented, our third quarter revenue reached yet another record, achieving 5.1 million, I say pardon, primarily driven by sale of flour in Canada after received our Canadian sales license from Health Canada, otherwise known as Green Gold, and seasonal improvements in our Oregon retail revenue and the addition of two new retail stores in Oregon when compared to the third quarter of 2017. Adjusted EBITDA for the third quarter of 2018 was a loss of US 2.9 million primarily driven by production costs and operating expenses. That's the cost of doing business. Combined with the recent legalization of cannabis in Canada and our ever-expanding North American footprint in cultivation, wholesale and retail, we have set the stage for a stronger 2019. We continue our efforts to build our wholesale and retail brands, enhancing trust with our customers and expanding share market share. 
We're also investing in people and processes as we recognize the importance of a strong, dedicated workforce to support the market growth in the jurisdictions in which in which we operate, said Mr. Simpson. Fiscal third quarter ended 30th September 2018 financial results. For the quarter ended 30th 2018, net revenue was 5.1 million as compared to US 3.1 million for the same period 2017. The 63% year over year increase largely reflects the sale of flour from our Canadian operations, seasonal improvements in Oregon retail, and the addition of two new Chalice Farm stores in Oregon, which when compared to the same period of 2017. Gross profit was US 0.4 million or 9% of net revenue of Q3 2018, compared with US 0.7 million or 23% of net revenue of Q3 2017. Q3 2018 gross margins decreased primarily due to non-cash valuation of biological assets. As of September 30, 2018, biological assets were newly planted on an average 13% complete. Operating expenses were U.S. 4.7 million U.S. in Q3 2018, consistent with U.S. 4.7 million in Q3 2018, 2017. Adjusted EBITDA loss was U.S. 2.9 million for Q3 2018, a slight improvement compared with net loss of U.S. 3 million for Q3 2017, primarily as a result of an increase in product sales volume. Adjusted EBITDA as defined by the company as earnings before taxes, depreciation, and amortized amortization. Less certain non-cash equivalent compensation expenses, including impairments, one-time transaction fees, and all other non-cash items. The company considers adjusted EBITDA as an important operational measure for the business. Net loss for Q3 2018 was U.S. $5.5 million or U.S. 0.01 per share loss, compared with the net loss of U.S. 3.2 million, or 0.01 per share loss for Q3 2017. Net loss for Q3 2018 increased primarily attributed to the effect of the changes in fair value of non-cash assets and debt, specifically biological assets and warrant liability. As of September 30th, 2018, the company held approximately U.S. 20.1 20.1 million in current assets compared with US 11.6 million in current assets in December 31st, 2017. The increase is largely because of the bought deal financing, financing which was completed in January 31st, 2018, in addition to proceeds from warrant exercises, which means it's just stock debt, guys. It's not real debt. Total assets increased to US 84.2 million. Wow. In September 30th, 2018, compared to U.S. $75.8 million in December 31st, 2017, also due primarily to the bought deal financing completed in January. So today, investor conference call Golden Leaf led by William Simpson, Chief Executive Officer, will hold a conference call at 4.30 p.m. Eastern today, Monday, November 5th, 2018, to report its financial results for the third quarter ended September 30th, 2018. So you can find all your contact information for the conference call right here. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before we invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Now, if you want to find all these tools, you can go to www.richtvlive. You can find all our featured videos. You can find all the top trending news, all the top stock news, all the top cryptocurrency news. And if you want to contact us and join our secret group, hover over contact right here, Secret Stock Picks Group. That's a social media community for you, the people, to communicate and share winners. Follow us on Slack. Follow us on Discord. Follow us on all social media absolutely free. We don't want your money. We want your eyes and your ears on the prize. What do you think about this news? Breaking news. Three big pieces of news, Golden Leaf Holdings going to partner with TerraTech, TRTC, being acquired and going to be amalgamating and creating a subsidiary 
three big pieces of news for Golden Leaf Holdings. Still a very cheap stock. What do you think? Holler at your boy. Smash that like button. Share the video everywhere. Comment down below. I want to know what you think. Do you own this company? Do you think this is big news? you think it's going to explode? Holler at your boy. I'm out. Peace.